Well, today, DIS, Dallas ISD Superintendent Dr. Mike Hinojosa was called in to testify in the bribery trial of Dallas County Commissioner John Wiley Price. Prosecutors also laid out potentially damaging evidence about thousands of phone calls between Price and lobbyists who have been giving him money. Fox 4's Lori Brown joining us live now with what happened in court today. Lori. Steve Superintendent Dr. Mike Hinojosa was only on the stand for about five minutes today and his testimony centered around a request made by Commissioner John Wiley Price during Hinojosa's previous tenure as superintendent. This is video of the superintendent as he left the federal courthouse during DISD's spring break this week. The superintendent did not want to talk about the trial today. Prosecutors asked him about a letter Dallas Commissioner John Wiley Price had sent to the district in 2007. In the letter, Price had asked Dallas ISD to allow a Hillwood Properties industrial development in southern Dallas to get a tax break. The district quickly granted the request. Earlier in the day, an attorney for the major developer testified that they had hired lobbyist Kathy Neely. During that time, prosecutors say Neely was writing numerous checks to Dallas County Commissioner John Wiley Price. Attorney Nick Oberheiden, who has been following the trial from the courtroom, points out that the defense did not even try to cross-examine the superintendent. It was a blitz testimony, if you will. It was uh, far less than five minutes, and I think jurors take away uh, one simple message, that is Commissioner Price contacted the superintendent personally trying to gain a tax advantage uh, for Hillwood. Later, an FBI staffer who analyzed thousands of pages of phone records testified that Price and Neely were in constant communication with each other despite a Dallas County rule that prohibited contact during that time between commissioners and lobbyists. An analysis by the FBI revealed at times that two had seven to nine calls every day, even on Saturdays and Sundays during no contact periods. The defense worked to question the way the FBI analyzed the phone records and also pointed out that they did not have the contents of any of the phone calls. The trial will continue tomorrow. Steve.